Every day I wake up and I thank God that I'm an artist. And then I thank God for my mother persuading me to study art. You know, because it's really illogical, you know, for someone, especially in a place, a third world country, to encourage their kid to go and study something as impractical as art. Growing up in Nigeria, it was easy for me to look around and see that we were in rich. I did not feel that the opportunities were there for me, and I had to look for somewhere else. And it was pretty easy to see that America was the place where dreams were made and fulfilled. By the time I was 16, I was about six feet seven. Whenever I run into someone, one of the first questions they ask me will be, do you play basketball? I didn't really know what basketball was. Once I started learning the game, I was able to get a scholarship to come to America and play college basketball. The rest is history, I guess. I tell you, man, I like to come in here. Once it starts raining, I'm running for the studio because it reminds me of Nigeria. We have the metal roofs. When it rains, you know, ah, the noise that it makes, the sound it makes is like music to my ears. I realize that it is the human soul that I am in love with. The, you know, the, the joy of, 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 of humanity that I'm in love with. And these forms become sort of like the house, an edifice that houses this noble, you know, majestic spirit of man or woman. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how I do it, I just do it. This is the best, man, I tell you. Doing something that I love to do, something that comes straight from my heart. Oh man, it was a fantastic day, you know. I had a real good show. I don't think I can lift both of you. <laughs> I go to work believing that there's a God and he inspires every one of his children. And I believe that God can inspire me as a husband, as a father, and also as an artist.